Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to do some virtual reality news. We are going to talk about Behemoth. Of course, you can see the footage playing in the background, but we're gonna have better look in a minute. Um, but also we've got some other bits and bobs, new games for PSVR 2, Quest PC, the adaptive triggers working on PC and possibly headset rumble in the future. Uh, so yeah, quite interesting video. Let's go. And this is a footage what you can see playing from Behemoth, looking epic as fuck. This is the brand new trailer, a Dreadstag trailer. Dreadstag is one of the bosses, and as you can see, he's very, very, very big, a large boss. Uh, don't need me to talk too much about it. Uh, what you need to do, uh, no, sorry, pff, all I need to do is to shut up and let you watch this trailer. from the eyes of the world. Where the earth quakes beneath the tread of terrible giants. Only someone who inherits my power can succeed where I fail. So yeah, definitely looking great. 14th of November cannot come sooner. Now let's speak about some sad stuff uh, and Zenith MMO. Uh, as we know, it was kind of in trouble for a while now, but the developer announced that they releasing the final update. And after the, this update they've done, because the game was running at a loss, of course you can play free-to-play Zenith Nexus and then you can download Zenith The Lost City as DLC. And that DLC from now on will be at super cheap price of $9.99. Sadly, online experiences not always click in. Now before somebody says that VR is dead and people not playing, don't forget it happens on PC, on PS5, Xbox, Switch, all the time, the latest example being fucking Concord, uh, which just flopped with a big F on it. Now let's talk a bit about NFL Pro Era. You know this game uh, from PSVR 1, PSVR 2, Quest PC, an uh, uh, American football game that is quite nicely done. So what the developer announced is that NFL Pro Era 2024-2025 edition will be changing from being like a standalone model to a live service model uh, and also this will add a defensive gameplay mode. So the new edition of the game, uh, if you own the game already, the new edition will cost $19.99 and if you don't own the game then you're gonna pay $39.99, that's in dollars and all the other content, content packs will be available through the seasons and they will start at $4.99. Now, if you bought Pro Era and Pro Era 2, you will be receiving an update that will give you access to all the free to play modes, cosmetic customizations, the mini games, uh, and also the updated multiplayer game uh, that will be featuring this offensive versus defensive matches. Uh, that will release this winter. And now we are going to talk about PSVR 2 again, this time on PC, uh, but also about the developer who released Cactus Cowboy, which is Cactus VR Studios. So they posted a simple tweet saying, what is this? Adaptive triggers on PC VR. Good Lord, it's Cactus Cowbo Cowboy, the unstoppable VR innovation train. Choo choo. Yes, you can. No, it doesn't need any Sony's code. Tech demo for now. Feather info and source code for this. You need implementation soon. 
So what this developer did uh, basically got the haptic triggers to work on the PlayStation VR 2 connected to the PC. Now they saying they did not enable adaptive triggers. What they did is uh, they wrote a complete new different set of codes uh, that is controlling those adaptive triggers. But also what they saying is that the headset rumble they are working on that as well. Now many people was thinking that those features could work on PC, but obviously there are not many PC VR games supporting them. Uh, but slowly but surely, uh, you know, people will get them to work. Uh, when it comes to Sony, it seems like they just released adapter and said, there you go, there you have it, now fuck you, <laughs> deal with it, it's yours, <laughs> that's us done with you now, uh, have it on PC and shut up, <laughs> that's how it feels. So I do not expect maybe updates for PC adapter uh, from Sony on PC, but definitely community and talented developers like Cactus VR Studio, they definitely will deliver those features. People still waiting for HDR support, uh, they hoping for eye tracking support. Not many games on PC supports eye tracking, but people who like to play VR chat, which is by far the most popular VR on PC uh, VR application, not only on PC, everywhere I suppose, uh, that supports eye tracking, and I'm sure people would like that. Okay, let's talk about some new games announcements. First of all, let's start from the October first. This game just started its uh, closed beta, but the developer said. They will be launching an uh, open beta this fall for MetaQuest 2, 3 and Pro. Oktoberfest is a festival in Germany that maybe many people would like to attend, but they can't. So what this game is doing is bringing all the festivities to your face in the headset. And what you'll be able to do is go on some fairground uh, games and rides, but that will be uh, multiplayer, so you can do it with other people. You can customize your avatar, physics-based interactions, uh, virtual food and drink you can pretend you're eating because why the fuck not friend system and voice chat leaderboards and achievements and authentic bavarian visuals and music i did not know that people down there looking like this the cartoonish squarey uh, poly uh, poly shaded uh, cell shaded polygonal people i didn't know i had no idea wow i'm amazed okay and moving on to the another game announcement this one is for PlayStation VR 2 and it's called Encycled. I cannot fucking say some words in English, but you know what I mean. Uh, you are like surrounded by uh, shit. Uh, so this is the game. It is a tower defense game and it's already out on other platforms. But the developer said, uh, well, it just appeared on PlayStation Store. And this game will be with PlayStation VR 2 owners in pretty much exact one month time because the scheduled release is 27th of September. And that's it for today's news. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then subscribe. I would superly, uh, superly, superly, yes, appreciate it. And for now, that's it. Bye 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 bye.